What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Brick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You are watching Bemis, where I review alternative bricks. Sometimes I do Lego bricks as well. Today, we're continuing part two of looking through some catalogs of an expo that I was at back in January. It's time to look through these things. So let's have some fun. Let's see what sets are available. Let's just see what's out there in the world and hopefully promote whoever these guys are and just screenshot if you want because there's a lot to go through. So I'm gonna speed up this sucker. So we look at this catalog in no particular order. Look at this brand. It's called King Galong. Oh, it's like a manufacturer sourcing. It's probably like a supplier. They even have a card there. Go ahead, screenshot it and contact them yourself. I'm Rainbow. Chris, the guy's name is Rainbow. 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 Okay. Looking at these. Looks like Zigao. So these guys probably supply Zigao or they are part of Zigao. And these are standard brick size. That one looks pretty crazy, man. Right there, look at that. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll scan up like that. More military stuff. Military goodies for you. There, some tanks right there. Where's the fun stuff, man? Any comments about Zigao? Chris, any comments about Zigao? I love Zigao. Okay, there's some, we don't have to zoom in on this. I think this is quite simple. You guys can zoom in yourself. This is all shot in 4K, by the way. So double zoom this sucker. Just more cars and construction stuff and Oh, here we go. The more interesting stuff here. So, yeah, they are showing new and old bricks. Uh, the ones down here. Ooh. Oh, these ones are yes. stolen designs, man. Ooh. Hate to say it. It happens sometimes. I have this one right here, Chris. It's actually pretty good. Is it that good? No. No. Ziga, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's, it's a stolen design. Oh. And the designers have friends. And those friends know me. But I would never like touch those or review them for you. But I did buy this one. You want to show it to them? Yeah. It's right there. It's actually right on top of the Kata box. Got to grab it from the bottom. You see up there? Oh, Chris found one of them. Guys, I do not promote them. You can buy them yourselves if you really, really want them. Or you know what? Go to the Brickative. That's correct. Brickative.com. Lucas. Lucas, is your name? Who designed it? It's an awesome design. But, you know, it was at the time when I That's bought cool. this. It's actually pretty old, yeah. And I didn't realize until afterwards, like, oh, it was stolen. There you go. That's the only thing that you need to see. It is... See, you got bricks. They're not the greatest. But you know what, Chris? You probably can't even see it on there. I told it like that. It is actually a really cool set, man. And on the inside, it's got so much stuff. So I was going to do, like, a speed build video, like, dismantling the set because I'm, I've run out of room. The top part here is kind of loose there. And they don't use figures either. They're like weird looking Ziga style figures. And if you don't know, we see like codes like that. That's like the code name, man. Like the designer's name they built into the set. But it does come off like a modular. Here, let's have some fun. Why am I showing this to you now? I'm busted, but this is a few years old already. So it's probably really hard to see because it's quite dark on that camera because we're showing books we're not showing sets but there's a lot of detail inside there and ugh, a lot of detail inside there probably can't see it there but maybe i'll put it back slowly poor chris just has to chase me on the camera it's like a laboratory science it's pretty cool man chris this one yeah but damn can't review it man yeah Anyway, there you go. That's part of Zigao. I'll just put this right here. That's it for this catalog, all done. This is, oh, this is interesting. You know what, maybe I may, I'll have this one as the next video on this channel. So this is from a toy brand called Joy Toy, and this is not brick related, but these guys have been like really super supportive of me selling, because I have a toy channel, toymeupscotty.com, which has been really slow on my YouTube channel, toymeupscotty. So I'll probably put review of one of these figures on this one. 
Which one did I review? I think it was, oh, she's right here, look. Look, Chris, he's right there. I reviewed this guy, he's awesome, man. Okay, so you see detailed that one, awesome. But anyway, if you wanna buy a joy toy from us, we do supply and we have stock of these guys. We have to go on that site. I had to update the, the store too. Problem with these, well, they're really cool. They're action figures, but the problem with them is they stop production, they're done. So you can't get them anymore. And they're like one off, you know? So cool. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but for all you Joy Toy fans, there you go. Chris, does this bring back nightmares? Oh, we yeah. broke so many pieces trying to put those together. They look so nice, this one. Yeah, these ones look really good, right? Let's see what else is there. Whoa. More bots, more characters. Oh, the girls look really good, man. Yes. Look, there's a maid for you, Chris. Oh, yes. Frontline Chaos Hannah. Oh, they have infected guys down here, too, man. They look pretty good. And some of these might be older ones, so no point in doing the catalog like this because you can't even buy these anymore, right? Mm. Warhammer, Warhammer is really famous, mm. popular. Oh, there's my guy, right there. Yes. Okay, so showing off. And more guys there. All Warhammers. These are these are authorized, by the way, and certified. One eighteenth scale. Some orc-looking dudes. Can you guys see that clearly? Everybody happy? Mm. Too many things to go through, too many details. Just go to their site to see the detail that figurines will be. And one, if, you, if you guys want any of these figures, just let us know too. We can definitely help you get some of them. Oh, these guys look badass, man. Chris, which one do you like? This guy is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that is Joy Toy, the official. Very cool guys, love the company, love the team. Thank you for supporting us. What's this? I have no idea. Great friend. We're gonna surprise ourselves. Oh, these are like more mini style sets. The cheap ones that you probably find on AliExpress. Look, I've never seen these before, look. How's that minifigure bending? The dress. Like princess theme, more like friend style. Got tanks on the side. Yeah. It looks like Kata logo, man. Oh, right? That's right? Great friend. I kind of like how that. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Gilf. Milf. Some police car ones there. Ooh. You can zoom out, I think, just a little bit because this one's a little bit tall. There you go. There. Okay. They have more. Oh, there, there's the contact info. Everyone go contact Yinner. Say, what's up? What's up? And the turnaround for a lot of these brands are like really fast, right? The staff, they can't, They leave like after a few months. They're like, I'm, I quit already. Okay, I'm just going to like go like that for you. Oh, you can zoom in more. You can cut the sides off like right. Yeah, like that. Okay, perfect. There, look at that. So you got construction. These are like two in one. And then you got some cars. Dinosaurs. Okay, the city ones there on the right. Look a little bit close to Miguel. The old school 80s style. That's pretty good. Are these available now? Are these guys still around? They said they've been around since 2015. I hope you're still around. And I hope you're doing good things. There's the profile one more time. You can read that. Freeze frame, read that by yourself. Okay, who's next? Chris has to pack an order, so while he's packing that order and bringing the box outside for DHL, thank you, by the way, for packing an order. If you order from us, this is what the box looks like. Team miss. Nice kiss for the box. Thanks, Chris. I put a lot of love into that. Chris knows. Anyway, what are we looking at here? Funny box, funny box. Where do they come up with these names, man? So this one is definitely not brick related. They do like RC cars. Let's see some toys, man. Let's have some fun. RC toys. Chris, this one's not brick, but this is fun. Look, look dude, underwater whoa. shark, remote control sharks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And snake too. Oh, nice. They have a 
What is that? A Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi camera. I think they meant Wi-Fi camera. Oh, shit. oh damn, man. You know, we could sell these on the store too, but they might be kind of cheap. You can probably just find these on like AliExpress and stuff, you know? I like that. I just love looking at these names. Fast Terminator O2. Spray deformation car. Yo, this thing has simulated exhaust, man. Yeah. It can blow smoke. Okay, got some dancing thing. Why are we looking at this? Okay, this is fun anyway. Dancing robots. Maybe Tyler might like some of this. Oh, I, we've seen like these kind of like, that can roll around the wall, the spiders that can kind of walk around. I like how they show empty boxes. That's what the boxes would look like. Transformer ones, stunt ones. Oh, funny box. No wonder they're so funny. Sky Expo. Oh, dude, that guy's on a bike. It's like a hover bike. Drone. You can legally fly this drone. More remote control cars there. I like how they promote the exhaust. Anyone have these kind of things where it like blows out the exhaust? How do you do that? I think it used like the smoke. Remember when we had one set, the Mold King? The smoke come out the chimney? I think they used the smoke, like they just used water and it's just vapor. More drone stuff there. More car stunts there. They seem to be repeating themselves. Oh, this one's like construction. Construction ones. Oh, Tyler would have loved that like three years ago. My six-year-old son, by the way. He's six now already. Can you believe that, guys? Started this channel. Yeah. There's like just a baby. Almost stunt. Stunts. Stunt stuff. This one is like a little ball with a tail. Dinosaur wheel looking thing. Oh, cool. Okay, this is another catalog for them. Side ship spray stunt car. It sprays too. More right there. Okay, what's next? DIY dinosaur tour world desktop games. Wen Cheng. There. Yilin Yang. There's all the information. If they're stealing your idea, if they're stealing your ideas, go hunt them down. By all means, they gave out the card. It's all there for. Oh, look at these guys. Assembly Dinosaur Series. Are these brick related? Cool, that's straight for you guys. It's crooked for me. Giant Raptor Dinosaur Models. Wait, these aren't brick, are they? No, they don't look like it. Oh, this might this might not be brick related either. Oh, but these are pretty oh, cool, man. Remember? Oh, what's that? Zoids. Remember Zoids, right? Remember Zoids, guys? G-O-I-D-S, right? That style? Oh, well, so these are just, just, yeah. They're just toys, man. They look kind of cool, though. Resurrection of Dinosaur. Fire Breath. T-Rex. Oh, these are just toys, man. Oh, yeah, see? They have spray here. You put the, the water bottle inside, and they spray mist out. That's crazy. Fire Breath T-Rex. Roar. Okay, these are just toys, guys. We don't need to see this, right? You guys interested in this? Aim shot. Go, go, go. This one comes with a gun. Light sound action. Dinosaur Museum. Now, if you guys really, really want us to find this kind of stuff, I'm just going to be so happy to help you guys out. Not really should be like, why are you asking them to help me find non-related brick stuff? Well, these are kind of cute. Look, ball, ball machine. Chris, real working ball machine. Oh, so yeah. cute. Playtime. DIY playhouse. Oh, these are like, okay, these are like doll style. We're starting to get into brick looking stuff. These look like Duplo compatible things, I can't tell. Don't listen to me. Oh, these are candy machines, man. Candy Hunter. Want to put your real candies in there? Oh, this stuff This stuff is so much fun. You know, if you go on my Tore Me Up channel, I did review like a food machine that we were kind of selling. We stopped selling that kind of stuff because it's like too kitty or like too cheap. But this is fun to review. Oh, boxing one, man. But you use your finger, flick it. 
boxing machine. Cute. Oh, I remember that. Put your finger down at the. Usually it's like a bulldog. This guy. I have this one. You have this one, Chris? No. Tyler's so scared of this thing, man. Oh. It, it's no, it's sleeping, and you touch, or you touch the bone. Oh. The thing will actually bite, bite you, man. Yeah, it really jumps out and bites oh. you. So crazy. Whack a dinosaur. Okay, brick stuff. Come on, brick stuff. Okay, we'll do this one first. Okay, I'm master. I met the girl Rachel. You can actually see her in the video at the very end. Um, they were actually really nice to us, but they wanted us to, I think, buy like mass bulk or the prices were like a little bit too expensive and it's really hard to like put it on the store. They have some interesting sets and they're more like Technic style, but there you go. I am master. They're, they're a new brand, but they do have some fun, cool little things like this. More mech samurai Technic dude. I don't know. I didn't see this guy and I don't know if a lot of these products are really out, but I did see quite a few of them these ones are a little bit too simple for me like technic vehicles this one looks so low res like the way they did that picture yeah. and a lot of them do like three in one or two in one do you guys like two in one three in one stuff chris do you like that kind of stuff we're like no because you build one you're gonna stick with it right? yeah <laughs> i'll never change it yeah so it's really hard right? okay we got some jeep oh looking stuff oh yeah oh. In case you don't know, I've re been recently, like in the last two years, been into Jeeps, like, big time. Once I saw the Defender Range Rover, I'm like, I want one so bad. They cost, like, millions of dollars here. But I did land myself a brand new Land Rover. Yes. Discovery Sport. Beautiful car. And they, have, they do have a new model for that coming out. I'll put that on the store for sure. Anyway, uh, they look like original designs. Kind of, but they're all kind of the samey to me. Is it copied? I can't tell, man. These ones for sure, no. Oh, really nice. Well, maybe. The green one? Really nice. Well, they're copying like the real vehicle, making it their own. But yeah, it's more like two in ones again here, you know, all two in one. Oh, yeah. So I did check if these are still available or not. Yes. Okay, I did see some of these guys, I think. Gundam. Yeah, trying to copy Gundam, right? Yeah. Oh, pretty cool yeah, yeah. but these are more technic pieces and model pieces not brick pieces this one we saw remember the yeah, end yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah this yes. was the last one that's why that was yeah, the girl in the last yeah. yeah chris was there you filmed it oh there we go oh, nice. this is more like oh. but it looks it, it looks like you're trying to copy it right yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. but it looks so yeah. Like out of shape or something <laughs> different. And these are all remote control, by the way. You can see the symbol there. Remote control. Hummers, cop cars. They're trying to promote these guys more. I don't like these guys. Like They're kind of like STEM. Build a robot type of thing. Who buys this stuff? Yeah, yeah you got to put it together, right? It looks like, look so much fun. I want to buy one. Yeah. No? Oh. oh, no. Oh, Chris knew right away. We all know who that is, right? Yeah. Wally. What is he called? Yeah. Mechanical mask. Oh, do you know? They just, it's just an all in one. Oh. Right? So this is like mode A. And, the, and if you want to, you can do this mode? No, maybe it's only this one. RC controlled. Oh. They took the likeness. But it looks just like Wally. Okay. Then I have to question these ones. This is like a Gundam car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, these are kind of nuts. This is the one I think you saw driving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, the oh, video. Yeah, yeah. Came on. Good, oh, yes. But they made it look cartoony here. I don't know if it, it shouldn't look like that. There you go. Not me, man. No, I'm not the vehicle guy. But there you go. I am master. Their their own brand, brand new. I'm not sure if they've been selling well or not. This one is very tiny. Sophie Zhang from Rufenda Toys. Rufenda. Run, run, Fenda. 
It's like three different people's names. Or is it like not run by a local person? Oh, these are just plush toys. Oh, baby toys. Baby toys, no brick toys, water guns, clay stuff. Well, this is stuff I was probably collecting and asking them for. Let me get this out of the way. Where's that come from? Inside. The backside, oh yeah. All the toys stuff. Run Fender toy, there you go. If you want some toys, oh, trucks, yes. shark truck. Yes. Plenty to buy. You can find all those online, I'm sure. Woma. Woma Samuel. Samuel from Woma. Yeah. You emailed me. It's okay, man. We're talking to your team. Please. It's okay, guys. All these brands are contacting me now, Chris. Yes, Woma. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, pa and Pan Bao, too. They're like, hey, man. I see you reviewing our videos. Yes. But Ida should be talking to your team anyway, so you don't have to contact me. It's okay. Walmart's doing some really cool stuff. I like their design for the more recent stuff. The older stuff like this, I think it's older, but they, they look more cheaper. SWAT style, I'm not into this one. Or this, these type. You, Chris? Yeah. No. No? Walmart. SWAT. No, you'll, you'll, you'll know when you see it. You'll see it. You'll remember. Poor Chris has to memorize like a thousand oh, different names. Right? Not figures. The figures is so weird, right? The no, dude, like, regular. these guys actually look pretty okay. Oh, no, you'll see. Let me see. Oh, a lot of military stuff there. Look at that. I'll just zoom in there. Pause. Screenshot that. Any comments about military from Woma? They kind of look like Sluban, right? There. These are pretty big, like a thousand pieces. And then you go back to the smaller scale stuff here. Chris will recognize some of these pretty soon. They just get really cold in here all of a sudden. You feel cold, you feel okay? No, I'm okay. Oh, okay. I have to make sure Chris is not cold. I can handle <laughs> sub-zero temperatures. Powerful military. Okay. Look at all the military. Oh, there you go. The Woma boats. Okay. Not Sluban boats, Woma boats. These ones that we are selling, they're really popular. You know, and if you guys are still asking why we don't sell all these other ones, you can just request it. There's, mm -hmm. As you can see, hundreds of thousands of products. We can't list them all. More Technic cars. Why do you guys like this so much? I guess you can say the same, ask me the same question too. Look, oh, there we go. Is that a defend? Is that a Range Rover right there? No. Come to. More Technic motorcycle. Now we go to Fairyland Adventure. Are we starting to see a theme here, guys? This is what everyone's buying, so they had to stick with it. Mm. All fairy tale stuff. Not really that popular on my store. Maybe there's not enough girls watching me. You know, I probably terrify the ladies away, so it's all good. I think some of these are actually pretty new. Oh, oh yeah, remember these guys? Yeah. This one? I heard from some of you that these ones are a little bit fragile, the bear. Looks cute, though. Yeah, really do. Oh, no. The 50-50 robot thing is quite popular too. This is an astronaut, but bear style. Panda. Yeah, these are pandas, man. I, I don't think I've seen those out though. There's too many, man. There's too many to pick from now. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, these are really cute. What are these ones? They're like city skyline. Oh, can you zoom in on this? Right there. And I can double zoom that. And look at those. Okay, look at those four. Oh, you know what? Mm. I kind of like these, man. What's this? Jeff? Yeah, they're like architecture. Right? The architecture style. Oh, but the box is so special. Yeah, this one looks really interesting. It's like a yeah. bridge and everything. Okay. Let me get eyed on that. Let me just message her now. Okay, here we go. Oh, they actually have licensed sets. Tencent. Do you know this cartoon oh. online game? China. China Online. Yeah, China 
Oh, look at this, though. Look, great wall. Oh, little diorama sets. These are standard brick size. Roma is standard brick size. Oh, the gray wall is good. Huh? Yeah, man, I like this. Yeah, well, this one is very close to the Lego one, which I did a review. Yeah, this one. But then they're like, screw it. We can do a whole bunch of them. I wonder, no, they can't merge together, though. Oh, look, 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 look. Someone have the Technic pieces there. Ah, I don't know if this is new or if it's just like vaporware, too, but interesting. Mm. Okay, gotta take a picture of this one, too, for Ida. Uh, there you go. Remember these ones, Chris? Do you remember these? Oh! Woma! Oh. Well, these four, we were selling. I don't know if we still have them on yeah, the store. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The mini set, right? Yeah, the really small ones yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They were really good. I really liked them. And they were all printed pieces with some stickers, right? Oh, they yeah. also have, like, Keepley, like, the small city stuff there. And all these music boxes. Dude, music boxes were a trend for a while. I don't think like many of you even bought music boxes from us. I think locally it's easier, it's more appealing, but once you find out like it has batteries or you need to send it or has sound, I think overseas is like not a popular thing. Oh, you remember these ones? Oh, yes. We never oh, reviewed them. Yeah, yeah. We didn't review them, but we had the boxes here. Really? And a couple of you guys have bought this from us. I still think we have a couple. You yeah. guys want me to review this, one of these? Yes, no, let me know. This one, I actually think I have a sample too. Yeah, the Floating yeah, City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, all oh, the candy box was popular on our store. I think they discontinued it and they updated it. Mm. They have the lunch box one here oh, too. Yeah. And I think that one is similar to one Lego Ideas, but it might not be the same. But hey, gotta give it to Woma, man. Woma. Oh. <laughs> this is the one we saw at the expo. And we have that here. Mm. And I was just about to shoot it with Chris. Oh, yes. We want to do it, but we want to do it the proper way, where they actually use, like, mar oh, yeah. the, they use snow. But Chris is like, once you put the snow on there, it sticks to the brick. You have to use warm water to wash it off. Like, oh, that's going to take some time. So we're still trying to work out how to do that. Mm. The diorama set for the train, though, is really good. I have not seen the Christmas ones yet. They may or may not have been out. Look good. And they also have dinosaurs. And they're very similar to, like, pandas. And maybe a couple other brands. Cyber Rex. I like this catalog, man. Oh, look at that. Look at those dragons, man. Oh, nice. These look like Ninjago style, but these ones look yeah. pretty vicious, man. They're only 500 pieces. I don't even know if those are out. And then you got the three kingdoms. Oh, nice. So like cute. brickhead style. Yeah, I like the horse. <laughs> the horses look really cute. There you go. QR code. Scan that crap. Go find him yourself. Go say hi. Say hi. Say hi to Samuel. Oh, our friends from Mork. Ex Mork Sandy. I hope he's still around, man. As I told you guys, they're kind of go in and out. But anyway, Sandy, hope you're good. There's their Mork Urge, part of Urge as well. Urge has done some tish tish sets in the past, and I think they realize that now. And so, anyway, there's their information about them there. Like that. And this page. I try to look like Big L a little bit. Okay, their brand advantages, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what kind of stuff they got here. Oh, there's all the guys that have agreed. You guys, as designers, agreed to join them. So you got like, let's play. I can't read some of these guys. I wish they kind of would put their real names there, but there, you got Papa Glup, who did the Razor Crest. We got, I think that's also Jang, is it? Oh, sure. They have Yellow Box 777. These guys, I think, are doing more of the sports car stuff. Advantage. What is this? What is Fisherman? What kind of product is that? Okay, Middle Ages is like Middle Age, right? What's Fisherman, man? Car Streetscape, Creative Series, Mock Series, Fisherman? What's that? Really fisherman. Okay, we'll find out. Techno Model. I haven't done any of these vehicles. Someone actually purchased one from us and they canceled the order. Thank you very much. So that one's in stock. Let's see if it's on this catalog and we can show you which one we have. 
The truck looked pretty good. Yeah. Monster, but Technic style, right? I like the pink one. Pink one? Yeah. Whoa. Once again, I don't know if all of these are out. Techno model. These ones look like Lego ones, mm. but they did their own or something. I don't know if that's true or not. You guys, let me know. Oh, we have a funny story, yeah? Remember the, remember the other brand came up to us? To, into the Morgue brand, they're like, they copied this car from us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's some crazy stories, man. I don't know who's who, but they have designed by or authorized there. Is this company first one to make the F1? No, there's no. so many companies that have done it. Oh. Lego was first probably. Oh, the Bugattis. This one, right, was really cool. Oh, These yeah, guys, remember? Shelby? I don't know if this is stolen or... I think it should be Shelby. Is it Shelby? Shelby. I mean, the design, is it taken from someone else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very clean looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looked really good in person. And they're big too, man. They're like Technic sets. Oh, your favorite, right? G wagon, G wagon. Can't afford these ones in real life. Too expensive. You can always buy these. But I don't like that Technic look. I'm sorry, it's just not for me. Force. May the force be with you. How long are we going on for? Let me check. 55? 55 already? It's fast though, right? Do you feel it's boring? No, it's good. Too, huh? Cars. I don't want to see it too. Oh wait, what was the? There was one of the Formula One cars. Yeah. This one's in stock in our office right now. Really? It might not be on our store, but yeah. someone ordered this one, or they sent us the wrong set, and it's just sitting here. So, mm -hmm. hit us up if you're looking for zero two three zero zero nine. I think it's that model. I'll double check for you. There you go. Saw that. They're all starting to look the same to me, man. Oh, these ones are kind of cool. They're like... Chuck, but not Chuck? That's how good I know my vehicles. There. Chris likes pink. There you go, Chris. Oh. But they all start to look the same, right? Yes. I think the same as the Lego. Lego Porsche, right? Almost the same. Well, they just like do different variations to make oh, it different, you know? <laughs> this <laughs> one looks kind of. It's kind of ugly to me. But this is what you guys like. You know? Cars in general just aren't for me. There's like almost too many variations. Actually, do you want to take out that Formula One car? Chris is going to make sure that car is the right one. Techno! Can't call it Technic. Some remote control ones. More there. I hope I'm doing okay on the angle, man. I'm sorry, guys. You see it on the floor? More cars there. Oh, yes. Is that the right one? Or you right? Yeah, we were right. Here we go. Thank you, Chris, for finding out. This is the size of the bag. If you want it, let us know. All in pack from the factory. And I'll repackage it for ya. Go there. Do I have to build this one? Please don't ask me to build it. I'm just not into Formula One at all. Thank you, Chris. Continuing on. This page here, yeah. More there. Mustang, right? Yeah, Mustang. Yeah, Mustang. RC car, RC. A majority of these cars you should be able to buy without the remote. This is an option for you. Over there. Over there. One there. Oh, okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is questionable. Didn't they do this for 
or Lego ideas or something. So sometimes you come across ones like this. I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. Is that original set? They say it's original, but you can never be too sure. The tanks for sure are original. These are cool, man. I like the phone. The robot dog, though. Chris, I look like a dog to you. <laughs> yes. But what kind of dog? It walks, I guess, because it's all, mo it's all motors here, you know? I don't know, it looks kind of ugly at this part. But I like the telephone. The telephone's kind of cool. Antique style. See, it's more of these robots, man. Why is everyone into these? What what makes them so attractive? Oh, oh damn, more flowers. More has a lot of flowers. I've just given up putting them on the store because there's like too many variations to list. But you can certainly get some flowers from them. And an apology if the ships are copies, you get a bouquet of flowers. Other oh, ships? The Flying Dutchman? Ooh. Okay. This is... I reviewed this one, and apparently the ship was the same as the, the Lego one, right? Shame. But you can always just get the Booty Bay, the bay itself. I'm not sure if these are actually available anymore. I think Mold King actually makes this one, too. Watch the comments go crazy now. You let them know, not me, man. Oh, yeah, like this kind of stuff. Diagon Alley Bank. This <coughs> is not officially out, but I think this is an idea. This is a micro-scale Hogwarts, which is actually kind of cool. Uh-oh. Yeah, this one we're getting a little dangerous here, man. This oh. one I think is a, a, a stolen design before. I don't know if they made up and kissed. The Ooh. globe came out before Lego's glow. But I heard that there was a lot of problems with this one. It's the truth, man. The basketball one I haven't heard much of at all. Do you know they had a basketball? No. There's your basketball. But very nice, man. Yeah, and a ship. Is that Star Wars? Whoa, someone just fell down upstairs. Wow. Apollo launch pad for your Saturn. Nice, you know, I think it's a mock too, but I've heard disaster stories, but I'm not particularly sure if it was from these guys or if these guys even released this. Mm. Okay, guns. Guns are like whatever. Safer to have these guns than real guns. Please, guys, just buy these instead of the real one. They still look pretty cool. There. And they shoot, they really shoot the Technic pieces, which is pretty funny. Here we go, we're getting to more original stuff now. We sell these ones. I have not had a chance to build them myself. I think they actually look really cute. Uh, why didn't I do these ones? Just maybe no time. Do you guys want me to do this one? <laughs> want me to do everything, right? These ones look pretty good, man. A lot of you have done them and we're happy with them. They split open and everything. So yeah, for sure we sell these. And these are a lot licensed from Let's Play. I did a couple of their sets before. Here we go. We're going to the more licensed sets here. Oh, yes. um, this is... This is like a catch-22. It's like a cat, like a bad a bad and good thing, right? Is that what that is? I kind of forgot. How do, you, how do you explain this? Number one, this one was a stolen design. And it used to say Chanel. But if you had bought it from Mold King's version, the Mold King was a stolen design. This is not Mold King, it's a Mork, okay? Oh. It's getting really confusing. You can still change the F to E, but anyway, my point is it was stolen from Yellow Box 777. The Yellow Box decided to do the, his very first set, which I reviewed, which is a science museum. You can see it's authorized by Yellow Box oh. here. But his name's not over here. Oh, shit. So it's like his stolen design is right next to his... <laughs> his normal set. Unless he made up and or this one hasn't re been released for sure by Mork yet. Maybe they're discussing that. The a lot I remember a lot of this might just be vaporware. It might not be real, but I don't know. Pretty interesting, right? You put that set right next to you. What do you call that? Okay, the A cabins. I have samples of them all. I haven't built them. These ones came out before the A-Cabin from Lego came out. The bad thing about these ones is they have no back. Right? It's only the front. They might be deceived when you go in the store and you go, Wow, it looks so pretty. Then you turn it around and there's no back. Which kind of sucks. But I still like looking at them. It's pretty. If you're, if you're into the A-Cabin from Lego and you want more, there you go. And I have more coming out. And here we go. Also, Jang set. These are all authorized. Thank you. We're authorizing them. They're not perfect as well. They have a lot to, to fix up. I, I'm perfectly okay with it. I'm just more, I'm really relaxed with this kind of stuff. A lot of you guys are like, no, bricks are not good. They suck. 
some sacrifices have to be made. We sell these as well. Not a lot of people buying medieval stuff from us at least. But same, they're all authorized. And same, I have the sample. I have all these in the office too. There's no time to build, man. Okay, I did the church already for you guys. The medieval farmhouses. There's newer ones already for the medieval stuff. Let's see if it's in this book. Yeah, these are all out. The medieval, remember the, this one bringing back nightmares, man? Yeah, damn. Okay, I think this one, these ones are out now. There you go. They're all original. They're all designed by Let's Play. Same, same designer. Same designer as the church. And remember the big church? All the same guys. Yeah, Let's Play. They've been really cool too. Here's another good example. This one was actually sold a long time ago by Mold King. A lot of people were asking me for it in the past, but just respectfully didn't put stolen mock designs on our store. But, of course, they have the authorized one here. They're like combining them together in one page, but there you go, just to give you an idea. Uh, boy. The tea house, I don't recall really seeing that one. The hospital brings me back nightmares because we did sell it and I think it was stolen and I didn't realize it was. It happens all the time. But this is a massive set, man. And apparently the, the floors didn't line up. Some customers were letting me know. And when we ordered it from the original factory, they sent it to us, all the bags broke open, and I had to sort about seven of these, all their bags, and it was like all a total mess. I was like my most pissed off dude in the office. Okay, this one I know was by Bertho. This one, not an authorized set. Actually, if you zoom out on this page, Chris, just be aware, these are all available on BrickLink or Brickative. You know, I don't think these ones are authorized, but these are older. I don't know why they're still putting it in the catalog. Maybe they're just trying to look, look cool. But n no one's complained about these. But just support the original designers if you can. I can't control how they're doing, like, half authorized, half not. This is the Flying Lobster in the pizza shop. I think well, these, these are authorized, but they're, I'm pretty sure they're discontinued now because maybe it was just the cost too high to produce super big sets. These are like all authorized, not authorized, not authorized, but you know. What you gonna do when they come for you? Wait a minute. This one looks kind of like this one. Oh, yes. That's not a detective building. Why do you call it a detective building? It's a piece mini, of mini. So these ones, I think, are just smaller scale sets of what you just saw. Oh, this is, this is flipped around. Mini pizza shop, oh. mini building detective, mini Lego style. I think these are standard bricks, but just smaller style. And yeah, these ones are more like, were not authorized then. I don't know if they worked it out now, but the fishing port stuff, I thought looked really good, but who knows. But these ones are authorized. The best of both worlds, or the worst of both worlds. There we go. The medieval theme, still going strong. Finally, the last page for you guys, and that is Mork. Go yell at them, cuss them out, or celebrate it. Celebrate the designers. All right, that is it for part two. We shall be back with part three. We might reach part four. We gotta finish these ones off. All right, you guys. Time for us to take a little break. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my store, BrickMeUpScotty.com. You might find some of these on there. Pick me up.